So we're just going to name the basic organs of the nervous system. We have the brain. All right. And we'll look at, at later points, the three parts of the brain. The largest part is the cerebrum, smaller one here in, in darker brown, cerebellum, and this white thing here is the brain stem. Okay, and we have some good models of the brain. The brain stem ends here at the foramen magnum, all right, the large hole. And after the brain stem ends, the spinal cord begins. So brain is an organ, spinal cord, and then you have all of these yellow pathways. These are known as peripheral nerves. That's also an organ. The other organ of the system is referred to as sensory receptors, right? Special sensory organs of sensory receptors. And this model has one, the eye, right? Your eye is a special sensory organ. The purpose of the eye is obviously to gather the, the data, what's around you, see what's around you. The eye is connected to the nervous system. The eye picks up sensory data and sends it to the nervous system, central nervous system for interpretation. So that's a very complicated sensory organ. Sensory components can be very, very simple. It could be a single cell. A single cell, like say, the Pacinian corpuscle in your skin or the tactile corpuscle in your skin, a single cell that perceives light touch or deep pressure, that's also a sensory receptor. That's also providing sensory data to the brain. So the sensory components, single cells, groups of cells, and then very complex organs, that's one component, brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves. Okay, that's what this model is showing us. What else do we see here? Well, you see, of course, that the brain and the brain stem is connected to the spinal cord. And then the spinal cord is connected to all of the peripheral nerves. The connection between the peripheral nerves and the spinal cord, right? It would be all along here, right? Here, the, where the yellow meets the white. These are known as the spinal nerves. The spinal nerve is the connection between the peripheral nerves and the spinal cord. The spinal nerve is, is short, it's very short, but it is, it is the connection to the cord. The spinal cord runs from the foramen magnum to approximately L2, lumbar one, lumbar two region, and then the cord ends, spinal cord ends. Okay. The end of the spinal cord ends in a little point or cone shape called the conus medullaris. After the spinal cord, the spinal nerves and peripheral nerves continue to hang down so they can get from L1 to L2 to L3, 4, 5, and then into the sacrum. But they're individual nerves that hang down, and they refer to that as the horse's tail, the corda equina. Corda equinus. This is a corda equina. This is individual nerves hanging down off of the conus medullaris, the end of the spinal cord. And they have little numbers there to indicate where it is. Mm -hmm. The purpose of the spinal cord is like the superhighway, meaning information all throughout the body needs to get here to be analyzed and interpreted. And then after the analysis, the brain needs to possibly send motor commands, signals, instructions to different parts of the body. So this is the superhighway, right? This is Long Island Expressway, okay? <laughs> and then each part of your body is a neighborhood, right? So, you know, if this is Manhattan, okay, what does that leave Montauk as? Hmm. No, it would be better. It would be nice if it was here, right? <laughs> it's here. <laughs> right? So, this is Manhattan. All information needs to come to Manhattan, and then Manhattan has to decide, right, what what to do. Long Island Expressway. Where would be Nassau Community College? Where's that? On you know, this is this is LIE. We're somewhere maybe over here, right? Down here is Montauk. 
and over here is Manhattan. We're like somewhere over here. This is our neighborhood, right? So if I want to leave Nassau Community College, let's just say that this is Nassau Community College, I got to hop on one of the local roads, which would be the peripheral nerve. I have to take it to the entrance ramp to the LIE. I get on and I zip on my way to Manhattan. I pick up all the supplies that we need, new models, and I get back <laughs> on the LIE and I come to the proper exit ramp, which is probably the same entrance ramp, and I come to my neighborhood. That's how it's laid out. Each neighborhood of the body has its own local roadway, peripheral nerve, that carries sensory information to the cord and ultimately to the brain, and then also motor information from the brain to the components in that neighborhood. That's how this is laid out. Okay? All right, good.